Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about QT Designer and how to create a customized love function uh, for the QT Design uh, UI to use. Um, and uh, of course, I, if you are not fam familiar with QT, uh, basically the so-called slot function is really just callback function in other like uh, GUI, de GUI development platform or framework. So let me just get started like, by just creating, uh, just starting a designer and then I like, create a very simple UI with a, let's say just two components. I will have a label here and also a line edit here. What I'm going to do is basically Whenever I type in something in the line, lay, uh, line edit, it will just echo back in the label here. So what I can do is actually, I, I mean, I do not need to even for this particular task here, I don't even need to write any code. It can be done like everything in the designer. So let me just show that first. Um, let's say I can should create a edit signal or slots here. I should select this one, or you can type F4 for that. Then you just like send a line, like drag, like click this one and drag a line to this test label here. Then we'll have this configure connection, connection um, dialog came up and I should select uh, test edit. Uh, whenever test edited, uh, I will just say set test for the label. So if I click OK for that, I can try this out. OK, wait, yeah, I can even try this UI out already here. So I select form and preview here in Windows style, let's say. Now, if I type it something like the label did updated. So, OK. Um, but let's say the purpose here is say, uh, oftentimes you'll have a much more complicated uh, slot function or callback function. We want to be able to customize that. So therefore, instead of like um, have this signal sent to the, this particular set test function here uh, of this receiver label here. So I will set it to a customized function so in this signal and slot editor, I will change this slot function here. I can just click this one and instead I will just select slot here. So if I did that, so I'm, I can try this, try to preview this uh, UI again. Uh, now it shouldn't do anything if I type something. So because I haven't designed, I mean, defined the slot function yet. So now let me just save this UI here. Uh, I have untitled before, let's see. I have saved as untitled here. And let me just go to my terminal. Um, let me... Uh, Uh, what's the command? I always forgot. Uh, PYUIC, yeah. Let me convert that UI. Uh, I'm using Qt5, so therefore it says PYUIC5. If you're using like maybe Qt6, it would be like PYUIC6 or something. I just have the UI here say untitled UI. And let's say I convert to like untitled PY here. So then I can look at the code of the untitled. So basically it just have a class here and have nothing else. Therefore you cannot want it. So one thing you should be aware of is say, uh, you don't want to change this um, file at all because like, if you change anything here and if you have forgotten and then I want this, say, PYUI convert again, then you will just override any changes. Um, so instead like you want to create another file, let's say I create a main file here, main.py. So let me just copy some polar play code here. So um, 
I will import like this and also import like this uh, PYQT5 packages. And then I should like also import my um, untitled class here. I will just like say import untitled uh, from untitled to import the UI class here. Let me just copy that. I say call you a main window. So I import your main window here. And then I, I basically will create a class. Let me just call it window. And the class will be a subclass of this UI form on also like a Q main window. So let me just copy some boilerplate code here. And so I will init basically init the parents and also like have this setup UI here. So know that like if you go back to the untitled class, what the setup UI did is like something like that. Uh, know that like because I have um this signal slot added. Uh, line here, like create this like connection, like from line added uh, to this receiver uh, to a slot function of the receiver. If you try to look for any code that is related to this one, uh, it looks like it just do not exist anything here. Uh, because I instead, like what the uh, uh, PYUI converter did is simply we'll just I uh, call this name, uh, call this function here, connect slot by name. What it does, it will be tell the uh, Qt to try to look for slot function that match by name. And the convention will be something like, I, if I want to have a line added, whenever the line added have test change, I want to create a slot function or callback function with a name, something like on line added, and test change. And uh, I will have self here, let's say, um, have the argument is test here, let's say T here. And what I'm going to do is say, I will just pin it out, pin the T out. And at the same time, I'll just set the label, set the test of the label to T, let's say. I'm also know that I need to add a decorator for this slot function to let you know this is like a slot function. And basically I have like a PTQT, PYQT slot here. And I will specify the type of string here for the argument. And note that like the convention for different system, different OS like Windows like Mac and also Unix, Linux, um, uh, it's not quite the same. So I use the convention as PYQTQ user uppercase here. Um, if you have a different convention, you can just import like as a different the name that you desire, and uh, and then I add more boilerplate code here. Uh, we just say uh, create this uh, class um, um, the window class instance here, and then just say like, show it. So um okay, and that's it. So this should work. And let me just try it out. Go back to the terminal. And then let's say when the main here. Ah, uh, okay, I have a typo here, that definitely. Uh, that's not UI form, I think. Let's see, import UI form. Yeah, there's no UI form here because I I copied earlier. I have a UI main window. I have to click. So I should have a UI main window here. Oh, okay. Hopefully like everything is correct this time. So now it's working. So if I go to the line edit here, if I type something, okay, know that not only the label is got updated, even though the label is too short, it cannot show everything here. Uh, the terminal is a or something is pinging off the console as well. So yeah, basically it's working now. So um now you, you see like how you can kind of like 
once you generated some UI using the designer, uh, you can also create customized callback function or like slot function, right? For the for your desired UI. And that's it. Okay. And thank you for watching.